Have you ever wanted to share a file or folder with someone that did not have a Google account? Well, Google recently launched pin code sharing, which allows you to do exactly that. If you want to know how, stay tuned. Okay, welcome back guys. Uh, this week I want to talk about pin code sharing which as I said at the start is the ability to share a file or indeed a folder with someone who does not actually have a Google account. And this is very, very valuable, although, although most people do have Google accounts, particularly in the business world, you might have an email address that isn't associated with a Google account. And so what this allows you to actually do is securely share a document or indeed a folder with someone who does not actually have a Google account. It only requires an email address. Um, and as I mentioned, it works on both files and folders. And I was quite surprised that it worked on folders. Um, now it does not work on a shared drive, but it does work on a folder within a shared drive. Um, I think that's an important distinction. So still for the overarching uh, controls and permissions of a shared drive, you do need a Google account. But for subfolders within that, you don't. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here I have a, uh, my, my Google Drive open and I'm in the internet team drive as my example and I have created a folder called survey results. And within the survey results, I have um, two files, a uh, Google form and then the survey results from that. Now I could share it on an individual file level, but I feel like people would probably be interested in the folder sharing. It's, it's exactly the same. So when I right click on the file, I can uh, share it. And when I, I can see the guests as well, so that they've divided this up now to, to make it easier to sort of delineate between members of a, of a group and um, guests. So these are the members of this group and then the, the guest is this person, George, that I added, not a real person, obviously. Um, and then I can see the members of the actual, um, of the actual uh, shared drive or I can see them all together, which includes the guests. And so I'm going to add a new per person in here um, I'm going to call this person Mike at damsandcloud.com. I'm purposely choosing an account that doesn't exist because I need to do that um, in order to uh, show the pin code sharing. Now, one thing to note on this is it doesn't come up unless you hit return. And I've seen people click done and it doesn't show them that this is an account that doesn't in fact have a Google account next to it. So when I hover over this little uh, information here, it will actually tell me that there's no Google account found for this particular individual. So I can decide what level of permission that I want them to have because this is a shared drive. So it's got the, the typical shared drive permissions. I'm going to make this person a commenter. I can add a message as well if I'd like. Um, hi Mike, uh, here are the results of our survey. Uh, see files in folder. And I'll put in Sandra here because I'm being Sandra, not Fintan. And I'm going to send that off. And so that person will receive an email. It's just warning me because a person's outside my organization. That person will receive an email now. And because there's no Google account associated with it, when they click the link, they'll be prompted um, to, to use the pin code sharing. So I'm going to swap accounts now over to my uh, Fintan at Dams and Cloud, which receives all of the, the it's a catch all address. So I'm going to receive the mic one here. You can see that this has been sent to Mike at Dams and Cloud. And it's saying from Sandra, we've got the little message that I wrote. I'm going to open it up in an incognito window so that it doesn't see my own account. And you can see now that it's asking me to verify my email address by sending a code. So to continue, first verify that it's you. Google will send a verification code to Mike at Dams and Cloud.com and it's kind of blocked out the full email address. So I'm gonna hit send on that. And now it's going to prompt me to actually enter the code. So I'm just going to shrink that guy down. And if we go back to my email, I will have received a new email now with the verification code. I'm going to copy that. And this is a once off code. So it's not something that can be used multiple times. If we go back here to our main one. Okay, so I pasted in my, my code. And now when I click next, I'll be able to actually access the files and folders within there. So that is pin code sharing 
um, at its simplest. And so what this allows you to do, as I said, is to share files and folders with people who do not have Google accounts. And this is a highly requested feature um, from many of our customers who have wanted to be able to do this and who are concerned about sharing things outside of their organization, particularly with people that don't have uh, Google accounts because they want to be able to keep it secure. So this is enabling organizations to keep their data secure even when sharing outside of the organization with people uh, or organizations that do not use Google. So that's it from me. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's update. Let me know what you think of this new update on pin code sharing and if you think you will use it within your organization. Chat to you guys next week. Which is the ability to share a something with a something. I don't know what it is. What am I talking about? Google Drive with a non-Google account. And I have soaked myself. I'll just ignore this. Can we edit this out? Can we? <laughs>